Hello, everybody! Welcome to Tiny Dangerous Dungeons. It's a cute little game that I found on um, Newgrounds. Let's see. Yes, yes confirm. I want to start a whole new thing because I've already played through this game and it's a short little game and it's lots of fun. So I figured I would show it off to you guys and I have to click with my mouse. Okay, now here's the one thing I don't like about this game is that the up button is the jump, and that is it. Everything else about this game is fucking great. I even like the whole Game Boy style of it. We even have the little pictures of the skulls right in front of all the hazards to let us know that they're dangerous. And no, you can't jump on anything. Yes, I prefer to have... I prefer to have my jump button assigned to a different button and up as my go through doors, but other than that, I got no complaints about this game. This game is cool. It's very cute. What? Ah! Oh shit. And I've already gotten, well, almost all the achievements for this game. Uh, you get achievements for. Ow. Wow, I'm fucking up already. Isn't that wonderful? You get achievements for getting through the entire game without dying even once, and you also get an achievement for getting through the entire game without using a save point, which I just screwed myself out of because, you know, fuck that noise. His movement is a little drifty when you take your finger off the button. He doesn't stop on a dime, and remember, you have to push down to go through the doors, and water kills you! So it can be a little problematic for controlling your landings when you're trying to land on smaller platforms. But yeah, you get, aside from the uh, achievement you get for not dying and not using a save point, you pretty much get everything just by beating the game, just in the course of playing through it all. So if there's any chance in hell that I can get through and get the achievement for no deaths. One, two, three, jump for it, hooray. And what do I get? Yay, I can open a door with one key. Awesome. And I press escape to use my map, which tells me where I can go. All the little doors in the secret... All those little up and down lines are actually doors, so... And the things that look like doors are actually save points, and the little squares are treasure chests that I want to find. So now that I can unlock a door... One, two... Three, run for it. Yeah. Like I say, it's a little drifty, so you gotta be careful about controlling your descent. Okay. Get back to that oh so precious save statue, because that's the only way to recover any damage. And honestly, it's. I wouldn't think it would be too hard to get through this game without taking any damage. I just fucked it up. I mean, I could probably do better if I was playing on a controller. Yes, I'm actually playing this on a keyboard! Fuck. Bastard. I like the, des the design on the bats. Those are cool. And up here... And as you progress later on in the game, there's a lot more backtracking. Where you have to go way over here for one thing, and then all the way back the other way to get something else. But yeah, I thought it was a cute little game that I'd share with everyone. Ooh, what do I get? Yay, the power glove! Now I can shove. I can push the blocks out of my way. Eh, <laughs> no! Last chance! Don't fuck it up! Okay. Yeah, if you, if you know what you're doing and you're careful, I wouldn't think it would be too difficult to not die. Now I gotta do all that shit again. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know you're coming back. And I like his cute little beret, too. Yeah, this game was made by Adventure Islands on Newgrounds. They've actually done several games on Newgrounds. Including one where... what was it called? Oh boy, I can't remember. There's one where you play a, a psychopathic look-alike of Princess Peach, who basically sets up booby traps in her castle to kill all the uh, heroic knights who try to rescue her. It's an interesting twist, I gotta say. I tried that out, it was actually pretty fun, but it got a little too hard for me too fast. Because they started throwing way too many knights at me. Okay, I don't need to push it any further than this. Come on. I also like how you start this with nothing. I mean, I kind of thought that block would kill the bat last time, but no. You start with nothing and you gradually obtain abilities as you progress through. I mean, I don't even have a weapon to kill anything yet. But I will! So now that I can push stuff, I can go the other way. So yeah, I'm not getting those two achievements that I didn't already have. One, two, three... Jumps! <laughs> See, a little, a little too drifty. I couldn't stop. Now I can go this way. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. I might be doing better if I was on a controller, but... Meh. Minor complaints. Ah, damn it! don't do that again. He's a stationary frog. He shouldn't be giving you that much trouble. That was the way I came, so I don't ever have to go back there. Woohoo! Okay, now which away? Yeah, I've never liked games where they reward you for never ever saving. Well, not so much the games, just the idea of going through an entire game without saving at all. Ow, you little bitch! But I can forgive it in this game because this game isn't that hard. But for sh it, for as short as it is, I definitely would not mind seeing an expanded version of this. Because this is really just one level. It's a really long level, but it's still just one. And I'd like to see this expanded into a full-blown game with multiple levels. More abilities and treasures and stuff. Ah, damn it! Oh, and knock me into the water, too. Well, at least I don't take, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna abuse the hell out of these statues, because they refill my health. At least they don't do compound damage, like they hit you, you take it, you take damage, and then you fall into the water and take even more damage. No, you, if you get, if you fall in the water after taking a hit, it doesn't do any more damage to you than you've already taken. So that's one nice forgiving aspect of this game. No, damn it! Like I say, it's really drifty and annoying with a keyboard, but I will deal with it. I like being able to stop on a dime when I let go of the buttons. Ah, damn it! I'd rather, really rather, really like not to drown. <laughs> oh, for... Wow! Yes, I'm gonna restore my health every fucking time. Because why the hell not?
Oh my god, it's so drifty. Come on. Uh, you please land on the platform. You'll, I overcompensate for... to avoid drifting into the frog, and then I fall into the water. I wouldn't mind hitting the frog, because the, hitting the frog wouldn't send me all the way back, but it knocks me into the water. Come on, you drifty bastard. There you go! There! I finally got past the evil frog. Okay, now what? Bridges! Okay, come on. Trust me, this gets a lot easier once you have a weapon to kill these guys with. Oh, I see a door down there! I'm supposed to push the down button for doors. Okay... Ah, no! Oh, I go all the way back here? Come on! Jesus! Oh god, drifty controls! What do I get for my discovery of the door? Yay, more health! Goody! send me back to the door, could ya? So touchy with that left and right. Ah, damn, come on! I don't want to have to come all the way back here to get my heart. Jump. Ah, no! Damn it! Oh, this is not looking good. Screw with me, fish! Need to get back to my save point. Oh wait, where is the next save point? Oh god, help me! I think I'd rather go back to my save statue before taking on that particular obstacle. Oh no! Damn it! I gotta do all that shit again. You know what? I think I'll wait until I find my weapon, because goddamn that sucked. Oh god, how much more crap do I have to do? I have to do this shit again. Hey! Come on. I say this game isn't that hard, and then look at me! Now I gotta go back and get my heart. Stay on the platform. Got it. I earned it. I want it. Give it to me. No. Relish the day when I will be able to kill you. God, fucking damn you! You know, I'm just gonna kill myself and go back to my statue. 